In this video, I'm going to talk about an ACT problem that involves percents. First I will give a short tutorial on percents, and then we'll try an example ACT problem. First I want to talk about how to convert a percent to a decimal. So let's say I have 40%. If I want to change it to a decimal form, I'm going to divide by 100. And divide by 100 it just basically moves the decimal point two places to the left. So right now, the 40 decimal point is at the end on the right side. I'm going to move it two places to the left. One, two. So it's going to become 0.40 or 0. 0.4 or 40, either is fine. Now convert a decimal to a percent, and basically I do the opposite. If I have 0 0.65, I need to multiply by 100, which essentially moves a decimal point two places to the right, making that just 65%. Now, if I want to find a percentage of some value, like here it says, what is 30% of 60? I'm going to convert the percent to decimal. Remember, that's moving it two places to the left. So 0 0.3 or 30. And then I'm going to multiply it by the other number times 60. Now, if you put that in your calculator, you're going to end up with 18. So to find a percentage of a number, change the percent to decimal, and multiply that by the other number. All right, so here's the example ACT problem. So here it asks, if 115% of a number is 460, what is 75% of the number? Okay, so this one deals with translating you know, a sentence into algebraic expression. So if 115%, I'm going to change it to decimal. So I was going to move it over twice. So 1.15 of a number is 60. So of a number means times some unknown value x is equal to 460. And the solve for x, I need to divide by 1.15. I guess this x is equal to 400. And now I want to find 75% of that number. So again, I move it over two places. They give me 0 0.75. I need to multiply by the other number, 400. And that's going to give you 300.